Vertonghen deflected and in. For much of this season, Spurs have been full of promise and performing well in so many competitions. Of course, it's Oko. Oh, it's deflected in. It's a bit of a gift for Tottenham. Now Sob, he find a way to go. He can. Ali, Walker Peters. Spurs march into the quarterfinals. But a Champions League exit to Juventus was followed by more bad news just days later. This is a worry. Harry Kane hit the deck and stayed there. Harry Kane is very important. He's very unlucky with, with this injury. He doesn't deserve it. But this is football, no? And now I could like to win in, on Saturday. And for Keen and for, for all the team. No? On by Sean and Kane! Well, he doesn't miss from there. Kane's form has meant limited opportunities for Fernando Llorente, a summer signing from Swansea. Now with the captain set for a spell on the sidelines, the Spaniard is set to face his former club this weekend. This part of the season is, is crucial for us because uh, we are out of Champions League now and we want to uh, do our best in F FA Cup. Uh, we are very focused in, in our game on, on Saturday against Swansea. I am training hard to, to be fit. And if I have the opportunity to play, I am ready. You know? And earlier in the week, the former Spanish international found time to help raise money for the Noah's Ark Children's Hospice. It's a new partnership with Noah's Ark Children's Hospice. They support children and young people in North London uh, who live in threatening conditions. Llorente will be hoping to add to his growing popularity amongst fans following his hat-trick in the fifth round replay win over Rochdale. First hat-trick with, with Tottenham for me was special, it was important for me to uh, help the team and, and for my confidence. No? When, when the striker scored a goal, the confidence uh, go up and I think it's very important. We are in, in the good way and if we continue working like this, I think we have the possibility to, to win, no? Then, uh, win something is, is very difficult, no? We are looking for what to, to win a trophy, but it's better uh, go game again, no? Carroll goes for it! Dawson was beaten! And now Jordan Ayew puts the ball in. And Nathan Dye will get to that and will make it 2-0. And that seals Swansea's place in the FA Cup quarterfinals for the first time in over half a century. I enjoy a lot uh, last year there. And, and I love uh, the people there, the supports are very kindly and good people. No? Carlos Carvajal is doing a good job. Swansea improves a lot in, in, the, in the last month. I always speak with, with, with some mates. I congrats them when, when they won last, last games. And I, I am happy for them. But now we have a big fight on Saturday and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to, to come as Swansea and, and help my team to, to win the, the game. Swansea hosts Spurs in the first quarter-final of the weekend. This will be the first ever cup meeting between the clubs, who boast very different FA Cup records. For Spurs, it's a 40th appearance in the quarter-finals. Swansea have only made the last eight on four occasions. Both clubs needed replays to secure their progress to this stage. Swansea beating Sheffield Wednesday. Spurs saw off Rochdale. 
Between them, they've played 11 ties already in this season's competition. 13 of Swansea's 44 goals this season have come in the FA Cup. The Swans are the only team in the last eight to have never reached the final. However, they've reached the semi-finals twice. Spurs have real pedigree and have lifted the trophy on eight occasions, most recently in 1991. And both lineups could feature some familiar faces. Swansea's Tom Carroll, Wayne Routledge and Kyle Norton are former Spurs players. Whilst Michel Vorm, Fernando Llorente and Ben Davis were signed by Spurs from Swansea. Eight teams, just one step from Wembley. The FA Cup quarterfinals are a fascinating mix. Enjoy the action and we'll see you next time.